Hi friends, let's solve this problem. Uh, this is uh, based on uh, some uh, two MOSFETs connected in such a fashion as shown in figure. So here it is asking to calculate what is the value of Vx. Vx is marked over the figure given already. So here uh, this problem is actually very simply simple because uh, it is already given the two conditions. Uh, the current equation in saturation region and the current equation in a linear region also. So uh, we need to find out which transistor is in saturation and which transistor is in linear region. So now let's take, so here it is clearly given, uh, so VGS2, so oops, let's take pencil, so VGS2 so that is VGS per M2 must be greater than 1 volt it is given. So it is greater than 1 volt. But what is VGS2 here from the figure? VGS is nothing but VGS2 is equals to VG. So VG2. So that is a gate of the uh, transistor M2 and VS2. So the source voltage VS2. So the gate voltage is clearly on figure itself it is given 2 volts and VS2 is nothing but Vx. So this is given greater than 1 volt. So clearly Vx is less than 1 volt. There is no doubt about this from the given data. So now let's uh, uh, write uh, so it is a Vx is less than 1 volt it is already given. So Let's take a VDS2. So let's determine whether M2 is operating in saturation region or in linear region. So VDS2 is nothing but VD2 that is nothing but 3.3 .3 volts already given and VS2 is nothing but VX. So it is 3.3 .3 minus VX. So this is VDS2 but VX is clearly less than 1. So VDS2 should be greater than 2.3. So at max if Vx is 1 then VDS2 will be 2.3 volts. So VDS2 must be greater than 2.3 voltage 3 volts. So let's take VGS2. VGS2 is already given it is greater than 1 volt and uh, Vt, Vt is already given 1 volt. So here, here it is clearly Vds2 is greater than Vgs minus Vt. So let's say Vgs2 is some uh, 1.5 volt like that. So the Vgs minus Vt will be equals to 0.5. So obviously Vds2 will be more than VGS minus VT. So we can easily tell that the transistor M2 is operating in a saturation region and the transistor M1 is operating in linear region because for transistor M1 so Vx is clearly less than 1 volt but Vg is 2 volt directly disconnected to 2 volt the gate of M1 so this let's say this is Vg1 so Vs1 the source of transistor M1 is connected to ground so it is 0 so VGS1 is nothing but 2 minus 0 it is 2 volt so but VDS1 is nothing but Vx so which is only at less than 1 volt so here clearly VDS1 is less than VGS minus Vt. So the transistor M2 is operating in saturation and transistor M1 is operating in linear region. So now let's write the drain currents ID2. So here it is simply, simply half mu C0 x. So let's take uh, this is uh, W over L. So let's take it is 2 multiplied with W by L ratio because it is already given that uh, WL ratio is twice that of M1. So if we, M1's WL ratio is only W over L then it should be two times of W over L. So I think there is no doubt about it. So now it is VGS 
for transistor uh, m2 vgs is nothing but simply 2 minus vx and minus vt that is 1 whole square so similarly let's write equation current equation for transistor 1 so that is mu c not x already formula already given in the problem itself so it is w over l and here it is given vgs minus vt so for transistor uh, m1 vgs is nothing but 2 volt minus vt so that is vt is nothing but 1 volt multiplied with vds that is vx so half vds square so vds is nothing but vx is it here so it is uh, looks like this so clearly the both the drains are connected so id1 and id2 so both the drains are connected means uh, the both the drain currents should be same because they the gate will not contribute any current so the current entering from drain will leave from the source and again it will enter the drain of transistor m1 so id1 should be equals to id2 now so it is uh, by simplifying 1 minus vx whole square is equals to vx minus 0.5 times vx square so by simplifying further we will get 1 plus vx square minus 2vx is equals to vx minus 0.5 vx square so let's write a quadratic expression here so it is 1.5 vx square minus 3vx plus 1 equals to 0 so let's use a calculator to solve this uh, quadratic expression so it is uh, so oh, we'll be getting vx is equals to 0.4226 and one more solution is 1.5773 so clearly this is gonna the and with the answer because uh, we know vx should be less than 1 so this is uh, is greater than 1 so 1.57 cannot be the answer so vx is equals to 0 0.4226 so this is the answer thank you for watching please subscribe my channel